What price development? That's a question facing the authorities in Mozambique. They are planning to build a large deep-sea port close to the South African border. It's expected to boost regional trade and capitalize on Mozambique growing coal exports. But the project has raised environmental concerns as the port is in the heart of a conservation zone and there is opposition. Paul Dutton is a Durban-based environmental consultant. My concern is the destruction of a unique conservation area that has been proclaimed for many, many years. It's called the Maputo Elephant Reserve. The magnitude of development that is proposed will have major impact on a unique game reserve, also in an area that Swaziland, Mozambique and uh, South Africa agreed to a transfrontier project. Now this project, the, the harbour and the development will destroy that initiative, that is to join the three three countries up in a, a bid for ecotourism through transfrontier uh, national parks. From what you're saying, the construction of that harbour is not compatible with the environment there. Absolutely not, uh, because we know so little about the, the project. What they've got to do is to institute an environmental impact assessment, which calls for a pre-feasibility study, so it must be open for debate. What at the moment we're not having that debate. The Mozambican government, however, says they have taken good care to make sure that uh, their role, their social responsibility, all those issues that you might be raising have been taken care of. Not at all. This is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for some information from the Mozambique government with regard to their proposal. We have not got information from the Ministry of Transport in Mozambique with regard to whether there's going to be an environmental impact assessment done for the project. South African environmentalist Paul Dutton. Well, I called up Mozambique's Minister of Transport and Communication, Paolo Zucula. Why is the country going ahead with the project? widely known that uh, one of the biggest problems that we have uh, in Africa and in Mozambique in particular is infrastructure. Mozambique is a gateway of many interland countries and uh, the existing ports are basically going to be overcrowded in the next few years. So we need alternative ports. So this is part of development. Anything that you build as infrastructure has the potential to have a negative impact on the environment. The issue that we do, and everybody does that worldwide, is to do careful studies to see how big is going to be the impact, how can you mitigate it, if it's mitigatable. Have these studies been done? Have you been liaising with environmentalists to make sure that uh, there are guarantees that the ecosystem will, will stay intact? The poll that we talked about, it's at real at concept level. So no big study has been done yet. So, so, so this agreement for this new port, uh, this one has been signed without all those studies being done? And can you clarify that for us, please? Well, what has been signed is a memorandum of intention between Mozambique, Botswana and Zimbabwe. Intention to build a new port. That's not a financial closure. It's a long way to go until they have a financial closure. If it is found that this construction or this uh, port will have a negative impact on the environment. Is there a way that it can be halted from continuing? If anybody has done it already and has a vision on it, we will be glad to look into it, share with us, and it will will help us to take the, the decision. And that's Mozambique's Minister of Transport and Communication, Paolo Zucula.